Spinosaurus, one of the biggest theropods ever to live on our planet. With a long crocodilian snout and sharp claws and big and bad enough to take on the king of dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Was it? This would have been accurate to at best a mid 2000s Spinosaurus, but thanks to revolutionary discoveries, Spinosaurus looks and acts a bit different than this. Allow me to introduce you to a scene. He is a Spinosaurus but not exactly like the one seen in Jurassic Park. His body shape is significantly different and more niche. The legs are shorter, holding him closer to the ground. However, he is still a biped. The iconic sail has taken a different shape as well, being less of a half circle and more resembling the dorsal fins of sailfish and the engine that fuels this more aquatic lifestyle is the tail, now less skinny and crocodilian, and being more like a tail fin. And with this new tail, it takes to under the water. He is not hunting. Having a kill already set for him, he stays in the water to cool off, as it's the hottest time of year. A Critodus slain at the claws of Spinosaurus. But with Spinosaurus ruling the waters, there is still a role open for the king of the land. Carodontosaurus. It wasn't the whipping boy of the Spinosaurus, but instead its land counterpart, hunting big land dinosaurs such as this Oranosaurus. Just because Spinosaurus ain't the king of the land, doesn't mean everything on the land is safe from it. This pterosaur will make a good appetizer for the main course that is the Crotodus. While it ain't like the movies, mid-Cretaceous Africa was still an amazing place with two top predators peacefully coexisting at the same time.